He wheels his wheelchair next to me. And he gets up to the table and I'm like, well, I've got a camera, I'm going to film this just because I want to film this. This is kind of cool. You know, and they're going at it for about 45, 50 seconds. And I'm like, that's, this is kind of awesome. Ultimately, this guy wins, gets, comes down, and right then and there, they have a small interview with him. And his back's to me the entire time, but I record the entire interview. I'm sitting next to him, and I start talking to him and find out his name, where he's from, and all these different things. And, you know, next comes his second match, and gets up out of the wheelchair, goes and he slams this guy. And I'm like, and this guy was a lot bigger than the first guy. I'm like, all right, this is kind of cool. Third match, same situation, bam, done. And then he won the finals left-handed. At that point, I'm like, you know what? This is kind of awesome. I got all of your videos here. What's your name? Let's become Facebook friends. I see on Facebook that Eric was invited to go to the national championships in Tahoe but couldn't quite afford to do this on the salary he was making and, and wanted to see if there was options out there for him. And I said that uh, I'd be more than happy to sponsor him. I was on such a high, wear my shirt while you're out there competing, that would be awesome for me. For you to win the, you know, the national championship wearing my shirt. And he did. He won the national championship wearing my shirt. When that happened, I'm like, wow, this is really kind of awesome. Now what? Like, how do you stop sponsoring somebody after they win? And hence, this is how that all got started.